<laughs> He's found us again. Hello. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back. Now the NEC Motoma Caravan Show is over for another year. And uh, in all intents and purposes, it's been another successful show. I've got man flu and I failed completely in creating the daily vlogs. The truth is I was too busy. I had too many commitments and I had too many people that I needed to see at the show. And I was creating footage for other people and I just didn't have enough time to create enough footage for myself. But nonetheless, uh, people came to my rescue and have created footage on my behalf. So a huge thank you to Joss who has managed to create some of the footage that you've already seen in this video. So I thought I'd share some highlights, but have a look at some of the outtakes of some of the stuff I've been filming this week. We're going to investigate how many issues we have with the breakaway cable and how badly Hello. it's attached. So, there you have it. Some great tips there. I'm not that big. No, I'm, no, I'm, no, you're short and I'm fat and together, it don't work. It works. It does, doesn't it? God, yeah. I'm sorry, I haven't a clue. No, I'm sorry, no, whose line is it anyway? No, no. no. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm I sorry I haven't got a clue. It is, yes, it is. It is. Yeah, Mrs. Trellick from North Wales. Hey, Stupid. no. No, you're thinking Mornington Crescent now. I'm thinking Mornington Crescent, yes. <laughs> with the rules. With the, you can't play the, you can't play the, uh, the trudging rules on a Monday. Oh, on it's a Tuesday. It's a go. Tuesday. It's, and you just can't We're go going. from <laughs> Don't get yourself. You've taken me words now. Um, you need a couple of pots. We visited the NEC over three days. Would you believe it? We never actually got to enjoy the show. We never visited any of the stands that we actually wanted to do. And I never actually made my way over to the accessories marketplace, which is something that I wanted to enjoy. However, because I was creating content for other people, I was able to steal away a couple of minutes now and then to look at some of the features, which I'm gonna share with you now. So let's head on over to the Van Gogh stand and let's have a look at one of the new warnings that they released this show. It's called the Varkala Connect and it's a modular air beamed awning and I was with the guys from Glossop and they were showing me around this great awning. So this one is the... Uh, this is the Vakala Connect 420. Yep. This is the new one in our range. So a lot of people uh, are constricted by the size of the van and the size of the rail. But with this one, we can add pods on the end, which extends uh, you could double the size of it, but still with the same size of rail. Yeah. So the end bits are not attached to the van, they're attached to this. Yeah. So it's a modular system completely, so you can just yeah. go and buy your awning. You can buy your awning, and then buy the And then at any time afterwards, you can add yeah. that on, which and we what I, on the end of here. And I like this configuration here as well, because again, you buy your basic awning, you buy your end wing here, and then if you want a sleeping pod, you can buy a sleeping pod. Absolutely. And then if you're going away for a quick weekend without the kids, well, you don't need to put any of that on. Just put up your simple little awning there like so. So as you can see, it's a great concept in an awning. It's a modular design and you choose the bits that you need for your lifestyle. Great idea, really worth thinking about. Now, whilst we were on the Van Gogh stand, I was able to meet up with uh, Sean and Lizzie from California Camping, and we had a go at the Airbeam Challenge. I say we, more Sean and Lizzie had a go at the Airbeam Challenge. Check this out. I worked hard at that. Did so, work out? so not competitive at all, uh, no, Sean. I just check the pump over. Yeah. <laughs> do you need to do some lunges just to, you know, <laughs> make sure that... Yeah, just have a quick practice. Good technique. It's a bit like right. a lumberjack. <laughs> that's, that's not your best He's side. He's OK. <laughs> um, you ready? Yeah. On your marks. Get set. Go. Come on, George. Yes, boy, come on, come on. Oh. That's quick, that's quick, that's quick. What's the time? <laughs> oh, 21 oh, 59. Good job. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a round of applause. That's his best side. <laughs> so as you might imagine, there was a lot of motorhomes and caravans being released over the period of the show, with Airstream being one of them and Hymer releasing another motorhome as well. But one caravan that really did grab my attention was a complete prototype that made its UK debut. It was a concept caravan from Limput Components 
and they were just showing what they were able to do and what able to achieve in a very small space. So let's have a look at the prototype right now. So here we got from Limput Components a really incredible prototype. As you can see, it looks a little bit different from something you might have seen before. Push out sides. It's very unusual. Let's hop inside and have a look around. So this is just a prototype of everything that the Limput systems can actually do. And it incorporates push out sides, ends, etc. So you can see that it's got quite a large bed here and this cavity is a push out. And when not in use, it all comes in. So you've got a massive bed. And it feels really unusual. It's huge. There's a lot of usable space. Again, another push out system here. So, a usable kitchen area. And as you can see here, this whole component pushes in on the runners down the floor there. So it makes the cavern feel very wide. A lot of usable space. Again, another push out component there as well. And then a breakfast bar up here at the front. So if you stand right at the front of the caravan, you can see how weird and wonderful this design actually is. So at the show, it's a great place for you to meet up with good friends that you haven't met for some time. So it was a lovely opportunity for us to meet up with Deb and Steve from the In Pursuit of a Dream blog. It was great to finally meet up with Sean and Lizzie from California Camping. Obviously hooked up with Ian from uh, Caravan Gossip and of course my good friend Andrew Ditton. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Now it was also lovely to have our very first meet and greet. Andrew and myself, we had arranged a place and time at the show for us to host this meet and greet and Angela actually recorded some of it on the live feed as well. I've pulled that video down because it seemed to have got universally panned and not a lot of people seem to enjoy it, but it was nice to finally meet up with some great people. And a special thank you to everybody who did turn up and especially Lynn and Rich who gave us some wonderful gifts. Thank you very much. The cookies have gone down very well and the gin was certainly well needed that evening. It's been a really long week actually because uh, not only had we been able to participate in the show but we also had some fairly horrendous car issues as well this week which I was nursing along. It basically meant that the days were pretty long starting off at about 5 6 o'clock and then on some nights we were finishing at about 2 o'clock in the morning so we didn't actually get a lot of sleep this week. Now in the last few moments of us being at the show, it was lovely for us to watch Lee Davey give a chat about his recent Arctic adventures with Bailey. So we were able to pop over to the live theatre, watch him give the talk and a brief synopsis of what took place on the adventure and understand what it really takes for you to take a caravan into the Arctic Circle. Now Angela was able to nip over and see Rusty Lee and from what Angela tells me, it was a fantastic demonstration and has given us some great inspiration for some Caribbean cooking. Now Angela was also able to pop over and see Monica Rivron, swap recipes and swap jams as well as Monica cooked a raspberry and vodka jam live on stage. And I can tell you that the jam itself is absolutely delicious. And I hope that Monica enjoys the jams that we passed over to her as well. So there we go guys, that's our highlights from the NEC Motorhome and Caravan Show 2017. A huge apology because we weren't able to create the content that I so wanted to create but the commitments I had and the obligations that I had agreed to just simply overwhelmed me and it was just too much for me to do everything that I wanted to. So that's it from me today. I will see you next week and I'm going to go and try and rest my voice and try and get rid of this horrendous man flu. I may not make it through the night. You never know. So until next time, guys, take care. Bye bye.